Here are six secret Ford truck features you probably didn't know existed. If it's a million degrees outside and you want to roll down your windows before you get to your truck so it starts to cool down, you just grab your remote and you double tap on the unlock button but hold it on the second tap. Hold it for about three to five seconds and then it rolls down the two front windows and if you have a crew cab, it does not roll down the back windows. I need help. You're supposed to be able to roll up the windows by just pressing and holding the lock button for about three seconds. But when I press it, nothing happens. Let me know if it works on your truck. My truck's a 2018 F350 XL Dually. XL is kind of the base model. This does have a few upgrades. Most of the things I'm gonna show you are gonna work on most Ford pickups after about 2015. It'll be slightly different depending on the year make model and upgrades you have on your truck. Hopefully you know what I'm about to show you. This is not one of the hidden features. This is something you, <laughs> I actually didn't know when I first got my truck and I had to dig around for a long time to find this. But if you ever get a flat, you better know where your jack is. When I first got my truck, I took me a long time to find this. But if you just go in the back seat and you look right here, you'll see this little flap. Just pull it and bam, there's your jack behind your seat. But what you probably didn't know is if you come back over to the driver's side of your truck, you lift up the back seat just by lifting it and you got a bunch of storage here. But check this out. If you reach behind the seat and lift up on this little button, it unlatches the back. And then you lower this seat by pulling out the handle. And now this whole thing folds down and look at this. Look at all this space back here. If you got gold bricks, this is the place I'd put them because bad guys won't think to look back here. This is the mechanism on the back of the seat. It's about this far from the top. So that's kind of how far you have to reach. And this is what it latches to. When you lower the seat, you're gonna see it open like that because it's already open. But when it's up there, it looks like this uh, closed. To open it, you reach over to this other side and you lift up on this button. It's gonna feel weird, it's hard to find, but just feel around for this and you push up like that and it'll open the latch and then that'll disconnect it from that and you'll let the seat down and the whole thing will open. Now, that is a huge pain. They do make a little thing on Amazon. You can just attach to this thing so you can just reach it from there. But once you find it, it, it'll be easier next time. This is all part of the same tip, extra storage. But if you have a truck that doesn't have a center console, you got extra storage in lots of places. Like there's one right here. Looks like just a, uh, oh, there's my credit cards. Looks like just a trim piece or something, but it's actually extra storage. So uh, use that. And here in the middle, when you lift up the center console thing, you probably knew this bonus tip already. You just lift the, this guy up and bam, you've got more storage down here. And if you pull this out, you got you got more cup holders which you can clip in just just like that when you put your truck in reverse backup camera comes on you get a split screen to change that you click this double icon here and you click this button right here but did you know that part you knew did you know if you hit the plus sign you can actually see what you're backing in to get a close-up view of that that guy right there the trailer hitch you just click on this plus sign bam backup view by the way my camera looks terrible still. What you may not know is that Ford has finally issued a recall on these cameras. They just don't have the cameras in stock. And right now it's like summer of 2023. So hopefully they'll get them in stock soon. But let me know in the comments if your camera sucks as bad as mine does. In case you're wondering about this, I finally found a phone mount that my phone doesn't actually fall out of. It's by Bullet Point and I mount my iPhone 11 Pro Max in here and it's, and it's rock solid, which is kind of nice. I got a video about it. Uh, linked in the description if you care. When I first got my truck, I noticed that sometimes I could see what gear I was in right there and sometimes I couldn't. I eventually figured out that the way to get those gears to show up was right here on the shifter. If the gears aren't showing up here and you press on this thing, they'll appear and press it again and they'll disappear. If you are actually driving and you press on it, you can manually shift gears with this thing, which is actually the purpose. Oh, guess what these are? New personalized plate for the trucks. I haven't put them on yet. Guess what they are? I'll show you in a second. If your truck has buttons here on the steering wheel and has these buttons for your sound system, you can turn your truck into a Mustang or a Lincoln or whatever you want, and this is how you do it. First, you have to make sure your sound system is on, so you just press the volume button and turn it down so the static doesn't annoy you. Then you press these two buttons at the same time. You can hear it running the test. You just can hit end test if you don't want to hear it. And the magic comes when you hit the testing settings button right here. You see now we're in the Ford timeless theme right there. But let's say we want to turn a Ford into something cooler. Let's do this. Let's go to look at these options. You can turn in your dream car. Who knew that your 
pickup could be a Mustang or a Shelby, which is also a Mustang, or a Lincoln. Let's just, for fun, make it a Lincoln D544. Press that. You got to wait a second. And immediately you'll see that the theme has changed, as now it's gold and black. But the cool thing is when you turn it off, oh yeah, and then you open the door and close it, so now you're serious. Look at that! I got a Lincoln! <laughs> Who would want a Lincoln? Not me. I don't, I don't think I'm old enough. I'm sure what you really want to do is turn it into a Ford Raptor for when you're not towing. So you would just hit testing settings again. Go to theme, Lincoln, and go down to Ford Raptor. Bam, it's back to the old looking theme thing there. But now when we turn it off, see what happens. In my last video about hidden secrets you didn't know about your Ford truck, we talked about the tow haul button. And a lot of people pointed out that if you double tap it, you can get into sport mode on my truck, which has a 6.7 diesel and is for towing. You can't get into sport mode there, but you can get into sport mode on trucks configured this way by double tapping on the traction control button. Look at that, advanced track, sport mode, bam. But what does sport mode do on the truck? Now there's some debate about that. Personally, I think all it does is adjust your traction control settings so you don't have as much traction control and you can do burnouts and donuts probably a lot easier. Other people think the button does other things. Sport mode does other things. Let me know what you think. What does the traction control button do on a 6.7 liter diesel F350 dually? Put, put that in the comments. Ooh, look, license plates. I'm sure you knew this already, but you don't need to have disgusting cup holders just because your kids pour chocolate milk in them. You can just pull them out like this and run them in the house and actually wash them. And no, this isn't the first time I've ever washed them in three years of owning this truck. Here's the current plate. No good, boring. I got this. What do you think? Our channel, Life Untethered. This is our, our life. To see the other seven things you didn't know your Ford truck could do, click, click, right. About, about there.